Yes. So let's look at this. This came in from last week, and I just don't, don't remember who sent it. So you've been absent from school for a few weeks. Your mother has informed you that your school principal will be visiting you at home. You've got to write the two entries that we talked about, how you feel before it and how you feel after. Now, you need to plan. I cannot emphasize this. In fact, let me take a, a clean sheet. I cannot emphasize this too much. So what we've got is me. I've been absent from school. So there's my school, but I haven't been going. So Tony Buzan says you must draw a picture to show this. I'm quite bad at this. I tend to put words in the middle. All right, so what the important thing here is why. So let us imagine that you were in a car accident. And let us say, how long have you been away? A few weeks. So we can't be too badly injured. Let us say we have a broken leg. But what then also happened after that is that I got terribly depressed. So the broken leg was basically not too bad that I was on crutches, let's say, how long does it take you to get off crutches, onto crutches? Let's say by the third day. I'm sure, it's probably the second day. Knowing hospitals, they'll get you up on the first day. But by the third day, I was on crutches. But I got terribly depressed. And although I was given a week off, I was booked off for one week, it went into a second week. And... It's now into the third week. But I felt by here that I had fallen behind in my work. Okay, so let's say, when are we going to break a leg? I don't want to break it in November, and I don't really want to break it this year because that just adds the whole COVID problem to it. But I'm going to have my accident right at the end of May. In other words, right on top of the June exams. And by the time I, you know, I was the third day, the June exams had already started. So I just felt I was planning to study and I haven't studied and now it's a disaster and I've missed the exams. So which exams tend to come first? Language. So I'm going to put English and maths. Can't fit it in. Whoa. Okay, I told you it had to be neat. What a mess. Right, so I've missed that and I got increasingly depressed. Right, so do you see what am I planning before I even plan my diary entries is why I've been away. Because now I can write the diary entry about how I don't want to face the principal. My mother should have just said no. Um, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm just so depressed Look, what, what am I going to say? I've missed all these exams and it was bad enough at the end of the first week, but now it's the third week and basically the exams are over and it's a complete disaster. And what am I going to do? That's going to be my first diary entry. But do you see, because I've spent the time planning this, this, I need to know why I've been away from school. Because do you see, it will be very, very different if I've been bunking. All right? Okay, now would I bunk? I'm not going to choose to bunk at all. All right? But let us imagine. Okay, you see, this, I can't imagine. This is where I need you guys. I never bunked school once. I'm a good girl. Um, where would I go? You see, I just don't know. Where would you go if you don't go to school? So I imagine that you're dropped off or you get there by taxi, or the taxi drops you off. And then, you see, I have now a failure of imagination. 
because I have no idea where you would go for three weeks when you're meant to be at school for three weeks. But do you see it be a very different interview with the principal if you've just been bunking three weeks? You're virtually at your, your limit for the year. They can deregister you. I, you know, you, you're in deep trouble. But not if you've gone into the sunk into this depression. Because now I can plan what the principal would say to me. And the principal would be really, really nice. So there's my first paragraph, which is all about the depression, right? So that's going to be the first diary entry. Now I've got my second entry, which is going to be on the night of the principal's visit. And I am going to be so relieved. Uh, the principal says that I'm going to be able to catch up the exams and their arrangements have been made with my mother about how this is going to happen and the teachers who are going to, to mark these exams and the principal has said that I will go for counselling to get me over the depression and that everybody has great faith in me. They know that this has been a terrible blow, but they also know that I've always shown courage and they've, I've got the whole school support and the support of my teachers. And he brought me a card signed by all my teachers. So do you see, it's going to be a very different diary entry. But what you've got to do is you've got to make sure, let me just go back to that topic here, that you really plan it. And that's taken me almost 10 minutes to plan that. But do you see, it's the reason for the absence from school that will dictate how I'm feeling and what the principal will say, and that's what I have to imagine, and then write the second entry. So I hope that's helped. Kulekani, I, I hope you can see. So it's it really got to do with the topic and take time to plan. You've got time for this. You've got plenty of time to plan carefully, to think it through, to make sure that you've got your own voice, that you've said something different. Because if you all just write, oh, I'm so worried about the principal, he's coming tomorrow, uh, and the principal said that I'm going to be punished or something, then it's going to be like everybody else's. But if you thought it through, and I'm sure that there is something that each one of you could think about why you could be absent for a few weeks from school, something that's happened, in your own life or something that's happened to a cousin or an aunt or something that you could adapt but that would make it real as to what's going on and maybe there's a divorce or a separation in the family what has happened that you haven't been at school and i know that that some learners really battle with finances there really just isn't an answer about how you're going to pay for the taxi to get to school I know this happens. So what is your particular thing? What can you bring to it that would be unique and interesting and different? Because that's what it's about, whether you're writing a descriptive essay or a diary entry. You've got to have your own voice, your unique own voice. Right, now I'm starting to run out of time. I think I've only got about a minute. So you can see here we've got an invitation card and a set of instructions. So my answer would be the same thing for both of them. Read it through carefully. Famous local actor, school's drama club. Invite the neighboring schools. So the first thing you've got to say is, who is the famous local actor? Who is this person who's been invited? So decide on somebody you know, a famous local actor, then you're expected to invite the drama clubs. He's going to be addressing members of the school's drama club or she. So 
what is she, what would she be talking about? This famous local actor, what was she in recently? Was she in, you know, a, 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 a soapy? What would she be talking to the, to the club about? You have to plan it. And that really comes back to the writing paper. Everything you do has to be planned. Think about it. Think through the details. Because it's the details that's going to make it interesting for your markers. Now, we're going to go on with this next week when I will have slightly longer to be with you. Send in your questions and your attempts. And from me, till next week, bye-bye.